Alright, so we're, we're going to be taking off into the east. Yeah, because remember we got the winds out of the southeast right now. Right. So our best runway for that would be which one? Two, six, or eight? Uh, that will be uh, two, six. Well, two, six. Okay, the good way to do this when we're first starting out is to set our directional gyro. We'll set it again once we get aligned with the runway. Let's set it by our oh, compass well, yeah. right now. Now, now it's eight. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then to the east. Remember, we got yeah. runway 090 is exactly east, and then the closest one we have to east is 080, which that makes more sense now. Right. So 268, so we'd be taxiing out to 8. But first, let's go ahead and get our radio check. All right. And just a reminder, it's uh, Griffith Unicom. This is Cessna 260. Here's your Quebec radio check, please. Griffith Unicom, this is Cessna 260. Sierra Quebec radio check, please. Loud and clear. Thank you. All right. We'll go ahead and we'll release the brakes. As soon as we release the brakes, we'll test them to make sure they're both working good. They are. And then we'll go ahead and taxi on out there before we go out on the runway. We'll make our back taxi announcement and we'll say this is Cessna 260 Sierra Quebec. Back taxi runway 8. We'll make sure to confirm clear left, clear right before we taxi out onto any runway that could be active. All right, clear on the left, clear on the right, and go ahead and uh, make our call. All right, just uh, run down. Uh, this, so I'll say this is, uh, or I'll say Griffith traffic. This is Cessna 260 Sierra Quebec, uh, departing runway eight. At Griffith. At Griffith. Okay. Yep. Griffith traffic. This is Cessna 260 Sierra Quebec, departing runway eight at Griffith. And once as we turn onto our runway heading, we just do our four flow check real quick on the runway. And that is our heading direction, our wind sock, our uh, traffic, and our clouds. So we're on our heading here. Go ahead and adjust this, make sure that it's on runway eight here. And then our wind sock, just out of the southeast. And then our, uh, then our traffic, no traffic, and clouds are clear, so we're good to go. All right. Full power coming in. Air speed's coming alive and lift off. Go with that nose down. Get that air speed. You're doing a short field takeoff on me. <laughs> Sorry. All right, then remember, we got that wind out of the south. You're going to have to have that right rudder pedal in and then crab a little bit into that wind to the south. Remember, with these, keeping it straight and level, and the wings nice and level, and then keeping it coordinated so we don't get that yaw, is in, mostly in your rudder pedal. So yes, you keep the wings level here with your yoke, but you're keeping it from spinning off or dropping to the side of that yaw, that rudder pedal, so you keep it nice and coordinated. Let's stay at 4,500. All right, my airplane. All right. I'll get us up there to altitude real quick here. Okay, so we got the 45. Car beats out, powers out, and we're holding the 45. Comes back like this. See how we got that full deflection now? Get the drop, nose comes down, car beats in. Look at that. Under 100, just about 100, 110 feet is all we lost there. Your airplane, hold 45. Pull it all the way back, pull it all the way back. There 
there we go. Then we got the drop. Now lower the nose to the rise and power coming in. Feel that? That felt good, right? And yeah. look, we only lost about 75 feet there. Now the airspeed's coming alive, and we can go ahead and pitch for our climb up. All right. Then go ahead and go into a power on stall. Power on? Yep, power, power. on. Nose coming up, nose coming up. Shoot. Uh, Nose coming down. Nose coming down. All right, I got it. You got it. Yeah. Sorry. My airplane. Okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I know I screwed that one up pretty bad. That's all right. All right. Let's try not to get off on our heading. All right. First of all, we want to set up for it. All right. So we're coming in on that. And what I do is get it nice and slow down. So here we are. All right, so we're about 65, like what we'd be rotating off. Then we just nice and steady, not Yankee Yankee, but nice and steady coming back on the controls. Then once we're back, we get that drop. Nose comes to the horizon and we're keeping the full power on. Then we let the airspeed build up, okay? All once right. the airspeed's built up, then we'll climb up to our 4,000 or back. And this is Cessna 260 here, Quebec. Just north of uh, the Kankakee River and south of um, Cedar Lake at uh, 2,500, we'll be doing S-turn. Do a circle around a point here. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to keep it right off of my wing here. Okay, but I have to work to keep it right off of my wing because the wind's going to try to blow me either away from it. Notice how I'm going to have to steepen it up as the wind's trying to blow me through it. And then it'll have to be shallower when I get up on my upwind part. Okay, see this? How it's gonna try to blow me away from it now. So I gotta keep it right in, all right? So see how I've had to steepen it up a little bit here? Making it steeper so I don't get blown away from it, so I keep that same distance from it. Makes sense. Okay, now it's not quite as steep, it's, but it's, uh, and then it starts getting shallower, and then now we're getting to the point where we're just about our shallowest. So see how little bank we have in right now? Yeah. Okay, now to hold that silo, nice and shallow, if we, if we do it too steep, then we're gonna get blown right over it, okay? Now it's starting to get to the point where it was shallowest, now it's just shallow, and now it starts getting steep, and then it'll get steeper and steepest. So see how I keep that tied right in, right there? And I'm keeping that little silo right there off of my wing. We know winds are pretty much out of the south still, and we can confirm that by the, the smokestacks there. Some dust flying there to the south. So here we have this road that's headed east and west, so that's perfect for us to practice our S-turns on. So go ahead and set our power. We don't do a lot of power adjusting here, so as long as our power's set, we can almost snug it up and then just work on our S-turn. So follow along with me, and this is all part of keeping it in coordinated flight and so on and so forth. Right. So we're at about 1,600 here. And going in, as soon as we go over that, remember, at first it's shallow. Actually shallowest, then it's shallow. And then as we're coming around, we get steeper. It's steep. And then as soon as we cross over wings level, we roll right into the next one. Because remember, steep, steep, shallow, shallow. Steep, steep, shallow, shallow. So it's steep, and then it starts shallowing out. And then as we come in around on it, it's gonna be our shallowest point. Okay, so okay. shallow and then shallow. So one way to remember is just steep, steep, shallow, shallow. So shallow, and now we're coming out. And just as we come over the road, we're rolling wings level. And we just continue right into the next one, but nice and shallow. It's not quick, it's the shallow one, remember? Because shallow, shallow, steep, steep. Now as we're coming around, it's starting to get steeper. So it goes from shallow to moderate, and now we're getting to our steep point. Okay, so it's steeping right. it in and up. All right, so steep. And then as soon as we roll wings level here, boom, and rolling right into the next one, steep again. So steep, steep. Now we're about midway through, so now it's moderate. So we're no longer steep anymore. And we're having to use our rudder pedals this whole time. And now we're rolling from a moderate 
into a shallower one. And then it'll be shallow, shallow, moderate, steep, steep, moderate, shallow, shallow, moderate, steep, steep, moderate. Okay, so now wings coming level here and rolling into it nice and shallow. And then it'll turn moderate here in just a little while, going from shallow to moderate. Okay. Now from moderate, about the 90, 90 degrees through it, then we'll go ahead and steeping it up. Nothing rash, nothing crazy or anything like that. Just nice and steady. Wings rolling level as we're crossing over the road and steep once again, right around it. See how I have to put that rudder pedal in too? Okay, and that's that steep, steep, and then moderate, shallow, shallow, moderate, steep, steep, moderate, shallow, shallow, moderate. All right, you just lost your engine. Where are we gonna land? Airstrip right here. Turn five okay. One eight Let's go ahead and get it yourself set up. So I'd probably start heading towards it, making sure that you've got it. Or you can go ahead and do the set yourself up in a downwind. And first of all, we aviate and then we navigate and we communicate. So aviate, let's set ourselves up for best rate of glide. And then we're going to navigate. So let's start navigating to it because we know we have winds out of the kind of out of the east and out of the south as well, or out of the uh, south. So we know we're going to be carrying, probably going to be carrying a little bit of a tailwind here. So we don't want to get blown by it. Okay, because as we're probably going to have a little bit of a tailwind because we obviously know we can't set up and land into it because we don't have enough of it, right? Right. I mean, to get ourselves set up to land into the wind like we'd like to. But we still have a good runway, so it'd be better to land with a little bit of a tailwind than to land straight into the wind into one of these fields. And then if we have the time, we go ahead and communicate. Lone Field, this is Cessna 260 Sierra Quebec on a base, left base, simulated engine out, landing, runway 36, low. Okay, so let's say that we don't have flaps, so we don't have that, so what are we going to do to slow ourselves down? Let's get ourselves uh, down on the runway. Remember that forward slip? Okay, so I've got the airplane. All right. And we just forward slip it right down and in. Okay. So right down, slowing it down, and then we bring the nose out. But okay. All right. So we see here that we can make landings like that in emergency situations. Now I'm going to hold back a lot on the elevators here. Okay. Okay. So we keep that nose. We don't want that nose to snap off or have a problem like that. Okay? All right. So, and usually you could use flaps, and we would use flaps, but in this case, it was a simulated. We're going to go ahead and hold our brakes, power full up, and let off. And low field, this is Cessna 260 here, Sierra Quebec. Departing runway 18, low. All right, our nose wheel comes up, so then we just hold that off, let the airspeed start building up here. Come off the ground here, holding our, till we get over our 50 foot obstacle. Okay, once we're over our 50 foot obstacle, nose comes down. Uh, okay, makes sense. Okay, so yeah. now we're over our 50 foot obstacle, and I'm climbing out at BY again. See that? Yeah. More traffic from uh, Okay, it's your airplane, and initiate, once we get above 1,000 or 1,200, go ahead and initiate a turn to the north. All right. So I know that was a lot to take in in a short amount of time, but that's how we would do an engine out. If you have the air engine out emergency, first, fly the airplane, fly the airplane, fly the airplane. Then we'll go ahead and um, navigate to where we picked the spot, which you were really good on that. That was awesome. You Thank picked you. that right out. You, I mean, there has a ton of fields around, and instead of looking in front of you and going, oh, well, whatever, you looked to the side of you and saw uh, an airfield there. That's the first choice. If you've got an airfield, the, the airfield. You know, sometimes you don't have that choice, okay? But you saw how many airfields are around here. I mean, we picked out three of them just while we were just flying around Farmer's Field. There's a lot of farmers that have airfields around. So, um, that's always a better option than landing in a farmer's field. Landing the farmer's um, 
airfield. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so that's always a good thing. And then, uh, so you you uh, you flew the airplane, you navigated it properly, and then we had time, so we went ahead and communicated to them that we were going to land. Now, was it the optimal runway to land on? No, we would have liked to land into the wind, but we still landed it and had plenty of time to get down, even without flaps. Yeah. So not only did we have the, the problem of, hey, a little bit of a tailwind landing on uh, runway 36, because the winds are a slightly out of the south, but we also had no flaps. And we still landed it just fine because we did a little bit of that forward slip in, then we came out of it, and we just let it roll out. We'll go ahead and put it in and see what we got. There we go, we got it. So, you see how I did that? So we got a lot of information in these, but you want to be able to have your map too. Right, right. Temperature 3, Duke Lake, minus 8, altimeter 29 Visual approach in use, landing and departing runway 1-2. Note of and advisories. Ground control frequency is for vehicles only. Aircraft should contact area tower frequency 125.6 for all services. Unlit towers 1.3 nautical miles east, southeast 699 feet MSL. 4.2 nautical miles northwest 330 feet AGL. Construction crane 4 west. 8. So we have winds right here at 8. So which is our best runway? Runway 8 or 27? Anchor for traffic. This is Cessna 260 Sierra, Sierra Quebec crossing over midfield. Going to enter left downwind for runway 8. Griffith. Not coming in right Jason to the end of the runway, car heat's coming runway. back, and power's coming back, and starting our descent down and in. Give it a good pull, there we go. Remember, we have that wind out of the south, right. so once we get out of our crab, it'll be right wing down into the wind, and left rudder pedal to Keep the longitudinal axis of the aircraft pillar on the runway. We're at a 45 here, so let's get into our base. Griffith traffic, this is Cessna 260, Sierra Quebec, left base, runway 8, Griffith. 10 degrees of flight. Harbor traffic, Cessna 2420, turning left base 14. Watch airspeed. Four traffic, 8586, Romeo's left base. There we go. 20 report, hold stop. on the right over here, so we're looking good that way. Another 10 degrees of flaps here in final. Griffith traffic, this is Cessna 260, Sierra, Sierra Quebec, final runway 8, full stop, Griffith. Right in the center of the runway. I've got your power. Coming down at the aim point. Right in the center, wings level. Middle oh, correction. Shoot. Keep it coming down. Don't get frustrated. Keep it coming down. You're doing good. Coming down. There we go. Watching that airspeed. Keep it coming down. Keep it coming down. Coming down. Alright. 
right. Nosing up. Nosing up a little bit. He's coming down. All right. There you go. Almost. <laughs> Almost. We got pretty close. Hey, yeah. you're down there quite a ways. I let you fly that all the way down till right at the end. You were flying it. Do you believe that? Uh, not really. <laughs> That's pretty right. good. Thanks. You did pretty good. We're just going to have to work on the flare, keeping the long stooge locks to the aircraft parallel on the runway, and then uh, following through. So that's good. Griffith, traffic to Cessna 260, Sierra Quebec, clear runway 8, Griffith. 